Welcome everyone. My name is Agustin, and I'm going to tell you what's new with the Contoso demo tool in this release and the generation and maintainability of demo data. If you have you know, used the old way of generating demo data um, and extending demo data with the rapid start packages, you will be pretty familiar with some of these pains and why we decided to go this route. Um, as you may know, these packages were like a big monolith. We either bring everything in or you bring nothing. So if you had to do a demo about small feature, um, you had to bring the whole shebang with you. Uh, and if you had to extend it, maybe you wanted to bring a new feature to demo together with that one, or maybe you wanted to uptake some of the changes that we made to demo data, um, then it was very painful because you have to regenerate that package. You can just, just modify it or extend it easily. Same thing with um, translations. If you had to do this demo in a different country, in a different language, you needed to create a copy of that package with everything translated, which then would mean that it will multiply and then it will be much more difficult to actually maintain and uptake new changes to them. You have to do it in many, many places. Because it's file-based, there was no very good story about versioning and source control. Um, and we didn't support historical data as part of this package. So you needed posted documents to be part of your demo. You had to find different ways to do it with some post-processing after the fact. So many partners will end up with something akin to this, right? Many different versions of the same package. Maybe the first one works very well with the demo number one, the second one works very well with the demo number two, but they don't mix very well together. And you have yet another package for each of the languages that you actually want to demo this on. So this was very, very difficult and costly to maintain. So when we designed this new tool, we kept all of these things in mind. So we wanted to break down this monolith package. So how would we do that? Well, we, we broke it down into these different modules following the, the namespaces in BaseApp. And you can install this independently. Uh, some of them maybe are completely independent, so you can just install this small piece to do a demo on you know, sustainability. Um, but you can define also dependencies among them. So if you want to demo something in the sales area and you require to have finances set up and inventory set up, uh, then you can define dependencies among them and the tool will handle the installation. If you, need to, you want to install um, this particular module for your demo, it will pick up all, everything on the, on the tree of dependencies and install it automatically for you. We wanted to, because it's, we wanted to solve this issue with source, source control and versioning to make it easier to extend and maintain and go back to previous versions and things like this, we just made it code. So you can see in here that it's much easier to read. We have a code unit that is about creating a unit of measure and then you can clearly see what is being created in there and you can create more and expand it easily. Um, because it's code, it also brings other benefits as well, right? Like we talked about the translation before. Now you can handle the translation the same way you handle um, in, in your applications. So use a translation file and you can much easier to do this instead of having to maintain very, very different versions. It also natively means that this goes into source control. This is actually in, in uh, GitHub, in uh, Yellow App Extensions. You can actually see the whole code of this tool and the demo data that we generate. You can read it, you can come and suggest some changes, improvements, find, tell us that we have a bug or something like this. And eventually we want to move all of this code into BC apps and make it fully open source so anyone can come and contribute. You can bring your own modules into, into demo data generation. You can fix issues, you can solve that problem that has been bugging you for a while in, in the demo data that we ship. Um, also, that story with the historical data, we, we broke down, if you go into one of these modules and you will see all of this different layering. Um, we have, we, you can develop independently the setup data for the module, the, the master data that, that defines this, this feature, but also the transactions and the historical data. So you can easily expand those individually if you want you know, more volume data. Or um, if you want to do, you need posted documents and uh, you can clearly just create the historical data for those and you can do cool things because it's, it's code now, right? So if you, for example, need that this demo requires that the historical data fills within, fits within the same quarter or the same fiscal year, you can just do that. You can write the code and it will continually follow, follow you. So if you have to do this demo two years from now to a customer, 
and the data will just be ready for you within the same fiscal quarter instead of like being obsolete. That is basically it. That's what we did. We managed to break down this monolith. We managed to make everything code so it's easier to develop and expand and extend and upgrade and all of these things. So we want to, now we're working on the next steps. Where do we go from here? So we will love to hear from you. And actually, this is already available as part of 25.3 because we needed it to unblock another great feature, Flexible Update Management, that uh, you can see in this launch event. I totally recommend to go and check that video. And uh, we look forward for you to go and play with this, try it around, add it to your pipelines, see how you will push it to production, and let us know how we you know, make this even better together. Um, so reach out to us through the usual channels, social media, Viva, and whatever else we can, we can talk to each other. Uh, that was it. Thank you very much, and have a lovely day.